Okay, so now how about we fight these guys? We've upgraded Lakeelster, which means we've up upgraded his attack. This was intentional. We have that attack, but right now, do this one. Now it does three damage. So now they're all down to seven HP. So now we can star storm them all. Awesome. And they're all done for. Twelve whole star points for that. And we're gonna level up on the next battle. So, that's good. See if there's anything else around here. Or if we should just go to the next screen. Because the next screen has the... No, I actually don't. I actually forgot this when I'm playing. There is this extra little screen. It's pretty much filler, especially since you can just ride the killster and just get around as quickly as possible. Would you like to see if there's anything there? No, let's go. Don't worry about the Lakitos. You could deal with the Lakitos if you did something that would require leaving flower fields, and I don't want to do that. Huh, this machine. Yeah, it's a puff puff machine, I knew it. So this is creating all these evil clouds in the air. <laughs> yeah, that is true. This is a weird way to ruin the world. Make a machine that looks like something from like a bad old sci-fi movie in order to create clouds to make the flowers sad. Yeah, fear the power of the puff puff fishing. Okay, dude, if you say so. Yes, he is. The man with the plan. Huff and puff. Yes, I do like clouds. My friend here is riding one. But yeah, if you talk to him, you get into another battle. Now we have another chance to deal with a yellow magic over here. But first of all, Cloud 9. This is a really useful technique. Now this one, for that many turns, enemies have a certain chance of actually missing their attacks. Cool thing I never noticed until this. Pay close attention to... their attacks. Like, you can see the angle of their attacks actually goes a bit farther instead of, uh... Okay, so normally, like, they'll just do an attack and they'll just, like, miss for no reason. Just because you have that cloud on. I thought it was orange. Avis uh, joke quota met. But yeah, you know about the Magic Koopas. When you're in that form and someone tries to attack you and it, it just misses for no apparent reason. As far as I can tell, that's normally the case. But sometimes with like little Kitus here, their angle will actually be slightly off. So there's actually a reason. So they actually just miss. Instead of just having attacks just go right through you. It's a nice little touch. Probably one of the reasons it was done is uh, specifically because it's introduced right around this point. Like, most people would presumably, like, want to upgrade their new partner. So, there's this, like, subtle change in animation to, uh, reflect the new attack you get. Or the new defensive ability, I guess. At least I think that's what they thought of. If so, that's really smart. Anyway, two of these three Lakitos have been electrified, so Mario can't do much with them right now. He said, let's do another spiny search, right? It doesn't matter at this point, we're gonna level up after this battle. Just attack all of them. And we can, uh, 
presumably uh, deal with the last Lakitu in the back. Yeah, just do a normal jump. Stomp out with your butt. And they're horrified that you stomped on them with their butt. How dare you. How dare you, Mario. I honestly love seeing all these happy low clouds. And I love all the clouds that seem to reflect their own uh, emotions. <laughs> I love stuff like that. Anyway, we beat them and we got our level up. So what we should upgrade this time... How about we upgrade BP? Yeah, that seems right. Let's do that. And then they all ran away. Yeah, now we actually have to do something about this machine. Hmm, how do we shut it off? I'm sure there's some very s smart, efficient, and non-aggressive way we can deal with this. But first, let's check out the badges we can equip. For certain upcoming battle, we might want to think carefully about this. I get rid of refund, just to give us even more BP. And yeah, quick change. That's something I've been wanting to use for a while. Let's Mario change his party members without having to lose a turn. That's great. Now as for our non-violent approach, Bombad, our expert in non-violence. Obviously. Don't worry, I'm sure Mario has an even better solution. Whack, whack, whack. Just hit it a lot. You have to hit it a certain amount of times. And make sure that all the casing falls off. And then eventually... It breaks. It's done for. Hooray! It's so sunny and the sun is back. Hooray! So much sunlight, it's wonderful. We saved Flower Field, we have even... We didn't even have to deal with the boss, and we saved everyone. Everyone's so happy. It can't be unlike you if you always do that, you know. Yeah, there's a rainbow and everything. How wonderful. Yes, it is. Uh, sh sure it can. Hooray, the sun! Everyone's happy. Everyone's filled with life. Hooray, flowers. Hooray. Music's so nice and pleasant. And the Kielsters here for here to stay with us. Let's see. It's so nice, so peaceful. Just walk around flower fields. Maybe still avoid the Lakielsters. Uh, the L Lucky Twos, though. 
It's peaceful, but there's the enemies are still here. And the music is so wonderful and happy. Everything's great. Oh, there's something else we haven't done yet, as you can tell. Up these stairs is a path filled with crazy daisies, and at the end is an upgrade block. We obviously want to reach it. We have to deal with a lot of enemies first. Luckily... Luckily, a lot of the crazy days here are just by themselves. And since it look, heals, there's no more attack does for as well. Not that it matters because hammer is more powerful. I could have just done that. But regardless, yeah. These enemies are no problem by themselves. So let's just take them out one by one. So yeah, we just keep fighting enemies. Same thing. And yeah, you. by the way, you do get a lot of leeway. Because I was only half in the middle for the tar targeting reticle for that attack. You do get some leeway. As long as the center of it is somewhere in that circle area, that attack will always connect. Or close to always, at least. That one was barely in, but it still hit. So yeah, this is quick and simple. I like this. Oh, another one? Oh no, what shall we do? Another single crazy daisy by itself. How tough. Uh, wait. Oh. Okay. Maybe not. So now we have four of them to deal with. This might not be great. Cloud9 once again. Avoid as many enemy attacks as possible. Oh great, I get to sit through all of their attacks. Oh, but at least that one missed. So it was entirely pointless. That one didn't miss. It just frolics all the way over here. I wonder if it's the same as the Lakitos, where, like... Is there a slightly different angle those attacks go to when they miss? I wonder. I don't want to deal with this forever, so... Thunder Rage! Spiny Surge attack! And that should be the last of the crazy days to deal with. Oh, so let's go to Happy Heart. We're gonna need that more than Happy Flower with all the FP healing items we have. At least I think so. And now we've upgraded Lakeelster already to Ultra Rank. Let's get some healing items. We could use them.
At least we've made this flower happy. Let's heal up and get back to the center area. And uh, might as well use that too. Because I'm stubborn and I'm not going back to Toad Town to heal. <laughs> Tremendous job. Ugh. There have been a relative lack of puns, for what should have been really obvious. Anyway, yeah, now that the sun's out. Everyone is happy. But okay, seriously? Let's plant the fertile soil, then the magical bean, and you have to do it in this order, and the miracle water. Do it in that order, and this happens. Plant. Well, obviously. It's really cool. It just goes up and up and up and up. Keeps growing and growing to the sky. Look, there's ice cream in the clouds. But it seems uh, the tree is not have as much luck with the... There are still normal clouds up there, I guess. I guess. Anyway, while we're here, maybe we should climb... Maybe we should go up this. Because now the leaf is gonna go round and around up the beanstalk. Uh, this reminds me of my favorite fairy tale growing up. Hansel and Gretel. Anyway, we're in this lovely cloudy low place. On top of the clouds. If we uh, jump on this cloud from the back of it, odd, you get the S jump George badge, which lets us do a huge uh, kill sir, you okay? <laughs> but yeah, it lets us do a huge uh, charge to uh, our jump attacks. And the coolest part about it, and why one of the reasons I'm upgrading it. To it. Uh, and one of the reasons I'm equipping it, if I ever get to it, and I didn't realize this before, uh, maybe, I'm assuming like the other charge attacks do something similar. Now that I think about it. The charges actually stack. So it adds three attacks every single time you use it. So that might be pretty useful. Oh, there's somehow an area to get to the right on this land of clouds. If we go up here, eventually we'll find 
something interesting. This very grey brownish looking cloud just wobbling in the middle. What is this? If you go anywhere near it, or if you touch it. Are you a man named Mario? And did you destroy the Puff Puff machine? What possessed you to do that? You completely ruined my plan to cover flower fields in clouds. You see, I was going to turn the sunlight blasted place into a cloud covered paradise. But I can't expect a man of your intellect to understand. Is that you, Spike? So, you have betrayed me. You will be punished. I was given this star spirit by King Bowser. I'll never give it up to the likes of you. You will both pay dearly for your crimes! That is one horrifying creature. And... That is Hufflepuff. Anyway, yep. We can now change partners without losing a turn. So let's tattle immediately. Yes, he is a giant cloud monster. 60 HP, attack 5, defense 0. Obviously, we're going to take out Lakeelster immediately, and we can still attack. But what shall we do first? How about just a normal jump? Now, here's the interesting thing about this fight. Is that little clouds will come out of him when you attack, depending on how much damage you do. And then they'll attack as well, doing the fuzzy-like attack. We have to press A a lot so they stop attacking. And he's a lot of different things, like for example, sometimes he'll suck up back those uh, clouds and regain the amount of HP you took. So this is a very, very creative battle. And ultimately what we're going to try to do is hurt him and then later hurt his uh, clouds. But we want to tattle him just in case. These are tough puffs. These be only one, but attack is two. Now the thing is, the more damage you do, the more tough puffs actually come out of him. And the more tough puffs that come out of him, the more you rapidly have to press A in order to get out of that the attack they do. So with just two of them, it's not that hard. You'll just you'll usually just take like one hit. But if they're like six or so, it's really difficult. And this is his next attack. There's a lot to explain. And you have to also press A repeatedly in order to take as little damage as possible from his wind attack. I think that I did really well and I only took two, which is hard to get to. Usually it's three at most. Obviously, because of the chapter, we're going to take out Lakeelster as the main partner for this battle. Right now we're going to take them out one by one, but there are plenty of different ways to take them out using like different attacks. There's a lot of cool things you can do in this battle. And this is just a jump sort of attack. Not a big deal. And this, I just really, really like this fight because it's super creative and you have to do a lot you have to like think in like very odd ways and how to deal with this guy compared to most enemies. Allows for a lot of really interesting strategies too. Like some of the other bosses had some cool things about them, but I think this really takes it to like a different level. Cause it's just really cool and really varied. Full power of his storm. Now there's even more of them, so we might have to deal with this. Or not if it misses. But fortunately now he's going to charge up with electric energy. One suggestion which I didn't take advantage of is you could switch the bow and hide away instead of just the semi-random chance of the Cloud 9 ability. 
because that he's gonna just charge up for an attack that's going to hurt a ton. Like Tabo Blub is heart levels of a damage. Maybe even more so. But right now we're just gonna do this attack. Get rid of all the tough puffs, but create some more. That's the other thing. It counts for like that even when you defeat the tough puffs, more can come out from the multi-attack uh, attacks. Next! Not sure what to do next. Try a number of things. Yeah, how about we start off the supercharge? Plus three. Uh-oh, here we go. Slow down! Ow. Eleven with blocking. But we did that attack. It's also a power jump that's been charged and we do nine damage. Let's see if I take advantage of being smart. They all have one HP. I really only do two. Instead of doing the full attack, so now there's less of them to deal with along with uh, killing all the... Tough puffs, and that's the best strategy usually is to do multi attack attacks, but do very little damage so that you don't have to deal with more of these guys or too many of them. That is, dealing with like six of them can be a pain, and it also like varies how much attack they'll do by like or how difficult it is to get rid of them for when they attack by their size. So the smaller ones are not as big a deal. Even though they have the exact same stats, in theory. It's a very odd battle. But that's why I like it. Go recharge this thing, because it's pretty useful. What's this attack? I like it. it. Thankfully just misses, so that's cool. Yeah, another thing. If you don't like pressing the A button a lot, like rapidly, this or they like fingers hurt pretty easily. This fight is can, could be pretty annoying, I can imagine. Just try normal attack, because why not? I'm not sure if I'm being smart in any degree with that. Ugh, oh, he just barely got an extra hit. I'm not sure if that was smart with doing that attack. Like... I don't know. What shall we do next? Might take a lot of damage, so maybe we should refresh. Keep our HP high. Yeah, how about we just attack it? Why not? I don't think that was the best strategy for that turn. Could use multi bounce, but I've had bad luck with that. So I'll just attack one of them. I might have regretted this. If I say really quickly, come on. Okay, just barely got out of that before they could do an extra hit. And this, uh, this is even worse. Just, this is gonna land on top of me as a thundercloud. Just lightning! Uh. That does a little, little, little less damage, but it's still a lot. 
Okay, how about just do another normal attack against Huff and Puff? Then we'll try something against all of them. Seems like as good of an idea as any. So we tried, yeah, let's try Star Storm. Okay, we got seven, and we got rid of a lot of those guys. So now he's even lower HP, he's only at 15 left. Though closer to like 19 or so. Well, actually, I was just counting by the numbers I see on there. But no one actually, he's gonna get 7 HP back, I believe. Oh, there is actually 4. I did 7. Huh. Let's try Cloud9 once again, because we want to take as little damage as possible. We're not on the best HP. Only have 14. Oh god. That's not good. Refresh, just in case. Okay, next, what shall we do? Okay. Be very careful and... It's a very, very close battle. Slow down lightning if I'm hell. If it keeps hitting, uh, it's bad luck. We all have 8 HP left. So I think... Yeah, how about a supercharge? Um... Uh, every move counts right now. Uh, he has an extra turn to that, but why not? How about Cloud9? Since I don't think I want to attack right now. No more extra attacks. Just hope this does hit. Uh, it's still hit. Now we're down to 4 HP. How about power jump? Hope for the best, and uh... Yeah, spiny surge, cure of those guys. Can't let them be around. And yeah, the best strategy is just to do one damage like that. So then you only have one of these guys to deal with. Thankfully he misses! Fortunately... This one does it, so but once again you have to press A rapidly. Come on, get three or two. At least three. Two would be ideal. Yeah, now we're down to literally two HP and no FP. Oh god. Okay, let's try to hit half and puff. No, he only has 4 HP left. Ugh. Still at 3 HP. Oh god, now what? Oh no. Oh, we're done for, we're done for, we're done for, oh god. Uh, I guess that attack missed. Okay, first of all, how about we just get rid of uh, these guys once again? Okay, let's finish it off. It's over. God, that was close. No, I cannot lose.
Finally got next star spirit. Let's grab it. End of chapter. So it is that Mario and party defeated cr defeat Cruel Cloud, Cuff and Puff, and rescue the sixth star spirit. The thick clouds that once cast dark shadows have gone, and Flower Fields is bathed in sunlight again. A single star spirit waits to be rescued, waits to take its place in the star sanctuary. Perhaps you will see Princess Peach soon. Perhaps. Just wait and see. Kami Koopa, who watches impatiently from Bowser's castle, is waiting too, for you to try to save them. And that's that. Honestly, really happy with how that bottle went. I like close battles like that. So, next time I'll obviously be back at the princess's uh, castle. So, next time on Paper Mario, we'll be doing just that. See you.